Hey guys, it is Chris with Collard Valley Cooks, and guess who is my cameraman today? That's right, Tammy. So, uh, she's letting me make this because this is so easy. This is so easy. This is Daddy's Dump Cake. And I mean, anybody in the world can make this cake if you have the ingredients. So, you don't need to mix her. I got the mixer sitting out here. I don't even need the mixer. I'm not even gonna mix this cake. So I know that's hard to believe, but that is what is about to happen. And it's gonna happen so fast, y'all probably just won't even get to see. No, I'm gonna I'll go slow and I'll make sure that everybody understands what's going on. All right, so let's look at the ingredients. We have a box of yellow cake mix. Doesn't really matter what kind, just yellow cake mix. And if you want to use different kind of cake mix, use a different kind of cake mix. If you want to use white, whatever, that's fine. But yellow's the standard for this. All right, we have a can of crushed pineapple. And this is a 20 ounce can, but you could probably use a 15 or 16 ounce can of crushed pineapple, as long as it covers the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. We have a can of cherry pie filling. Uh, again, I think this is a 20 ounce and you could use 15, 16, but uh, cherry pie filling. If you want to use some other kind of fruit, you can mix the fruit up. Use a different kind of fruit. That's what you want. Um, we have some Baker's Joy we're going to use. And you could probably get by with just some, uh, some of the other kind of spray. But we like this because it has flour in it. And we're going to have some pecans in there. There's our yellow cake mix. We're gonna throw in there, then a couple of sticks of butter that are gonna be in there. Now that's it guys, no mixing, nothing complicated, just right for Mr. Good Looking who's cooking. Okay, we're gonna start off spraying our pan. You need to spray it over the sink if possible because this stuff does kind of get everywhere. And don't be stingy with the spray. Don't do it. You're going to want to. You're going to want to try to save that spray for later. But use it up. All right, here's our pineapple. And I'm just going to pour it on the bottom. Now, I don't want to... Uh, I really just kind of want to spread it around while I'm pouring it. I don't want to put it on there and then move it around everywhere. Because um, that'll mess up our spray. You know what I'm going to do? I don't like doing that. All right. Yeah, that's making me nervous doing that. So even a cake this easy can be intimidating for a person that is not a baker like me. Right. But anyway, I want to spread it around like this so that I don't have to take a, like a, what do you call it? A spatula or whatever and move it around. Okay, now the juicy part, I'm gonna kind of pour out over here to try to balance it out. Okay, that spread out pretty good. We got that, and then we do the cherries. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the cherries. I'm gonna kind of spoon it out just around the cake. Yummy. And like I said, it already looks so good, don't it? Yeah, it's just pretty because it's, you know, <laughs> it's got that red, that red and that uh, yellow. But it, uh, you know, if you want to use strawberries or you want to use, you know, whatever. Like I said, I don't think you can go. They wrong. have blackberry, blueberry, yeah, blueberry, blackberry, blueberries, <laughs> <can use> blueberries. <laughs> they have lemon. This is taking way longer than I thought because. I'm spooning it out like this. But you know what? At least I had enough sense to figure out that I needed to do that instead of just flopping it all out and stirring it all around and messing up my baker's joy. I think you're doing a great job. Sometimes, it is a daddy cake. Yeah, sometimes I come up with uh, good ideas. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna try to it works not all big chunks. Just spread it around. Now, I know this is crazy. This shouldn't. I, I've never seen anybody do this. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you out there have made this cake. Probably 
There's people out there right now going, well, I've been making this cake for 50 years. Well, this is my first time. Yeah, when I said, oh, I'm going to do a daddy dump cake, Chris said, well, I can do it. I'm the dad. I'm a daddy. I can do that. Right? Yeah. Confidence. Confidence goes a long way. <laughs> Sometimes confidence goes too far. You know, holding the camera is not easy, is it? It is not. And I hope... You have to be really still and my arms are way up high and... I hope Tammy gets an appreciation. Yes, I'm getting some exercise, I have to say. How difficult the job and the pressure that I'm under. Uh, okay, now, this is the only time I need to look at the thing. Daddy's Dump Cake uses a cup of chopped nuts. This is a half cup, I'm guessing, or is this a whole cup? This is a whole cup. I'm gonna pour it over the cake. So if I mess up, it's okay. It just falls on the cake. Look how smart that is. Who would have thought of that? Me. All right. Again, I'm sure I'm not the only person that's ever done that. But I like to think, you know, I like to think stuff like that when I'm doing things. Makes me feel good. So you just sprinkle this around. How about that? You think I'll put some more nuts on there? No. Absolutely not. Now, the other thing that we are doing here that is kind of weird is we don't melt the butter or anything. We're going to cut the butter up um, into slices and put it on the cake. But anyway, if it wasn't room temperature, I'm sure this would be a lot easier to do, but it's still pretty easy anyway. Good Lord, that's a lot of butter, ain't it? If you can't cut butter... Maybe this isn't the cake for you. <laughs> so today, instead of cooking like Mama did, we are cooking. Instead of Mama, it's cooking Daddy. Like Daddy did. It's a Daddy cake. A Daddy dump cake. All right. I'm almost done, Tammy. Good. And I probably didn't have to cut it in slices. That, but you know what? I look do. at there. That looks um, very sinful. Yeah, it does. I mean, my gosh, it's got everything good in it. I'm gonna wash my hands over here. All right, so the only thing we have left to do is to put it in our preheated oven, which is at 350, and we are going to bake it an hour. And since it's a daddy dump cake, that means you probably should go sit in a recliner and like turn on the TV, watch a ball game, watch some YouTube videos, a fishing video, something. Do something like that because it's a daddy dump cake. All right, guys, it is ready. It looks ready. more like a uh, kind of more like a cobbler than a cake listen to it bubble we're gonna let this cool down a little bit and uh, then we'll try it we'll get Tammy to taste I'll taste We'll let the dogs taste. If you're in the neighborhood, you can come by and taste. We'll just all taste it. We have let it cool off a little. Not much, but a little. So, let's try to dip this out. And it is still pretty soft. So it's going to be pretty much one spoonful. That's what it's going to be. So, so really, you can see that it is more like a cobbler than a cake, even though it's called a daddy dump cake, and uh, it's still nice and hot, and I think Tammy has in mind a little vanilla ice cream on this thing, but I think I'm going to take a little taste before she does that. I 
And that's good. And so easy. All right, daddies. There you go. If you don't want to mix anything up, there's your dump cake right there. Now I'm going to dump some ice cream on this. And we're going to eat it. Thanks for watching Colorado Valley Cooks, where we cook like some daddies do. That's good stuff, y'all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.